today are going to discuss the seventh problem which states that from the following information prepare Praveen's account as on 31st March 2014. Now the first transaction given is on 7th March it states that balance due from Praveen. Balance due from Praveen means Praveen has to give us money that is Praveen has to give to our business money. So when a person has to give money to the business his account will show debit balance. So on the debit side we will write the balance 3500 in the amount column first. 2 is constant and it is opening balance so we write 2 balance. For opening balance we use brought down and the date is 7th March. The next transaction is on 7th again on the same date it states that sold goods to Praveen, sold goods to Praveen, sorry I am writing the account name Praveen's account. Now, so sold goods to Praveen 1500. So the journal entry being Praveen to sales because Praveen is the receiver of the goods sold by us. So debit is account, the amount being 1500. So I'm entering 1500 in the amount column on the debit side to sales. Why I'm debiting Praveen's account? Because of sales. Same date. Now the next transaction is on 10th. Purchased goods from Praveen. Purchased goods from Praveen. Technically, in reality, we prepare two different Praveen accounts for purchase and sale of goods but here we are going to post the transactions in the same account because there are only few. Now purchased goods from Praveen means your journal entry would be purchases account debit to Praveen's account. As a result of this transaction you are crediting Praveen's account so let us enter the amount on the credit side of Praveen's account that is thousand rupees. Now the reason for crediting Praveen's account is purchases. So as you know buy is constant on the credit side. We simply write buy purchases. The date being 10th. The date being 10th. Now next on 15th paid cash to Praveen. The transaction is paid cash to Praveen. So the journal entry would be Praveen to cash. Praveen to cash. Based on this journal entry we are debiting Praveen's account. So let us the enter the amount on the debit side of Praveen's account. The amount being 800. So we are debiting Praveen's account with 800 to constant on the debit side what we are giving to Praveen cash so we are mentioning that. So as the transaction is 15th record the date of 15th here. Now the next transaction is on 23rd it states that received cash from Praveen rupees 500. Received cash from Praveen 500 so when Praveen gives us cash the journal entry would be cash account debit to Praveen's account. Cash account debit to Praveen's account and we are crediting the Praveen's account. So let us enter this 500 on the credit side of Praveen's account because we have to credit his account. Buy cash. So this is on 23rd. Now let us see the next transaction. It states that which is on 25th. Returned goods to Praveen. Returned goods to Praveen. So the business that is we are returning the goods to Praveen. So that means it would be purchases returns. It would be purchases returns. So what is the journal entry basically for purchase returns goods are going out. So we have to credit the purchase returns account. So to whom we are returning we are returning to Praveen. So Praveen's account would be debited because debit the receiver of the goods. So Praveen's account debit to purchase returns would be a journal entry. As a result, Praveen's account should be debited with 200 
rupees. So, we are entering 200 on the debit side of Praveen's account, two constant, the reason is purchase returns, the reason is purchase returns, that is 25. Next, he is instructing Praveen's account is settled.